Hey folks, Tivik here and welcome back to Cube World Alpha. We're on episode 4. 4, yep. And since the last episode, it's been a couple of days, uh, we found this Ruins of da ruins of Damano. It was kind of a cool area. And I want to take a better look at it. Um, I've gotten a few tips. Like for instance, I'm going to need... Uh, five points in climbing and one point in hang gliding to be able to glide using the hang gliders, which is kind of sad. Oops, but uh, yeah, and also name pet. Let's uh, name the terrier. Oof! Awesome. He's now my terrier. Look at that. That's awesome. Whoa! Ow! Right, so I should grab some more of these heart flowers, and we're gonna head back out into the lands of Terlon. Let's uh, take a look here. I wanted to follow this um, this path here and see where it leads. There should be another village or something there. And uh, checking my inventory, we have a fair deal of items that we could probably sell. This one I'm saving because I want to try it out. Plenty of health potions. Yeah. Plenty of ingredients. I want to go cave exploration trip. Go on a cave exploration trip. Wanna go cave exploration trip. Talking. Difficult. Yeah. So, let's head to the road here. I'm on the road again. And we'll see what we can find. Oh, I've been playing so much Minecraft, I automatically jump when I get to uh, an edge like that. <laughs> oh well. Um, let's see here. This is the road, and that's an underground path. To the cave, will there be ore? We'll see. And Woof is following me. I don't know. I'm not sure if I want to name him that. I'm gonna let you guys decide. If you want to name him anything else than Woof, let me know. If you're lucky, you might get into the game. Oh yeah. If you want to be a terrier dog. There's a cave here. Caves in uh, can have items such as... Also, they have bats. Wow. Sound volume was... Fairly loud. Let me lower my own volume. Oh, iron deposit. Two iron nuggets. That was really cheap. Don't suppose you can dig through these? Nope. Okay. Right, so that's out. I need to be more careful. I say, and fall again. Uh, what's that? Campfire. Yep. I did get the tip that if there is a bedroll, I should use that because it saves potions. I don't need to eat or drink. Oh, this looks like a pretty dense forest. I love the environment in this, and it's cool to see that he's actually adding to the game, so you're actually getting new stuff all the time, which also means that should the game get patched so that we need a new world, we'll just have to make a new one, but we can continue with this character, because the worlds will be procedural, and the levels will be, well, ranging for me, I suppose. I do want to find a way to cut down trees. I wonder. Oh, get out of there. Yes, you can kind of cut down trees. That looks silly. Floating tree. Ooh, there's a bee over here. Let's go kill some enemies. Well, it's a fly. To there we go. Just one experience. That was cheap. 
Are we going to find new lands, though? The path keeps on going here, so... If I follow that, I should get to another town, I hope. But I do want to find some... Oh, turtle. His name is Aslan. Whoa. That is... A bit annoying. Is he making copies of me? Wow. I'm gonna keep on fighting until... Ow. He has a lot of health. Ouch. Spawned one of me again. Wow. I imagine this could be very annoying if you get a lot of health and. Ow. Ow. It's time to drink some health. Figured out that if you roll and hit them with a heavy attack like that, they fall down. I don't know if that works every time. Ow. But it seems to. Although it could be just... I do hope that I will get some decent stuff from this, because he's a pain. Also, my sword is not good at all. Whoa. Come on, ow! Okay. There are some of you who have asked me to go get, uh, get into a boss fight, but... I think I want to get some other equipment first, because obviously, ow, 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 ow. Twenty-two hits, not bad. Do my hits get better? My hits get better if I keep hitting him. Will I just get score? <laughs> I don't know. Keeping control of my health. It's almost down. Drop something good, please. Come on. Whew, a fire spirit. Can I customize my... Plain Iron Longsword plus 14. Oh, it requires anvil. No, I wanted to... Oh, I need to find one of these. Um, yeah, that was kind of cool. I got a Fire Spirit, which is a power 14 item. Wow. So, there is an, uh, uh, an area here called an Armor Lake. So, let's head there. I'm just gonna drink. What are you guys? Spitter plus one. Ow. 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 That kind of hurt. So let's not go to normal lake. Let's uh, follow the path instead. Ow. Path should be somewhere here. And here is the scrub. Brilliant. Yeah, the path out. Okay, so that's a very annoying little crab, but I can kill him. Nice experience there. Very nice experience. Eleven. Whoa, there are more than two of them. I need to remember to use my specials. Come on, die. There we go. 
Whew, I'm at 93 experience to level 4. Yay! There's another one here. Okay, so the road leads just past the lake. It's a bit dangerous. But should be doable. Let's um, head towards the road and keep an eye out for any nasties. The road should be here. Oh, it's uh, disappeared in the forest. Ah, okay. So, they never finished this road. This lake here, we're gonna have to take a look at later. Kinda looks cool. I can drink a health potion just to get my health up a bit. What's that? Who are you? It's a knoll. Hello. Copper coins and two experience, so that was not really the amount of experience I wanted. Here's a crab. Come here. Hello. You actually want to carefully back away here because we don't want that spitter. I think the spitter was the name, yeah. But I do want to kill a spitter. Now, let's uh, keep following the road for now. And see what other trouble we can get into. There seems to be a cave here, which means I'm gonna go spelunking. There is a cave here, and there is iron. I might as well just go get any iron that I can get, because obviously I will be able to craft stuff. Wow, three. Nice. But I wonder if the iron deposits respawn or do spawn at all. It's really dark in here. Sorry if you guys can't see anything. I'll go outside now. Wow. He has a lot of health. But he's dying. I got 11 XP. My dog is dead again. Ah, poor dog. Keeps on dying. Okay, so that is part of the lake. No, it's just a river. We're getting to new lands here. Interesting. Wizards! Come here, everyone. Ow! Okay, that was painful. Stop that. Oh, that's cheating. How can they be so much faster? I kill this ginseng just because of that. Then I'm gonna go get my loot. I'm pretty sure he dropped some coin. Somewhere here. He dropped coin, definitely. And speaking of coin, I have 10 silver now, so I should probably be able to buy a hang glider once I want it. Yeah, he dropped coin. 
I'm in for revenge. Formula for neat silk gloves. I can't learn that because it's for a mage. Okay, let's see what this new land is, shall we? At least there is... Some rocks can be destroyed with bombs. I know that. The lands of Langar. Well, hello Langar. I really need some climbing skill. Okay, so the road suddenly ended here. But we're in a new land. And with new land means more opportunities. Maybe. I want to head back to a town. I want to find a town. So, looking at Langar, there is a town over there miles away to the west. Okay. I won't reach there this episode, but we'll start walking that way. Oh, it's a water mage. And charge. A wooden staff. Well, I don't need staves. I could stave off... Oh, I had a place to sleep there. A mole. Probably not a lot of experience. He died too fast. Yeah, just one. Yeah, so we probably won't reach that town in this episode, but, you know, adventuring. What are you? A goblin. Okay, good for you. If you love nature, that's all up to you. We're probably gonna die a lot in this way. Oh, shrub. Or a bush. I love. Oh. I'm gonna stay quiet there. Here is a shepherd dog. I don't have any other pet food, unfortunately. So... So, we get some more experience. A lot. How far is the village? Oh dear lord, that's far. Well, we're in for a journey. I want to find some mountains though, because they usually have caves, and caves mean ore. Ore means I can craft weapons that I can use. Well, all this is very nice, but ore is what I really need. And there seems to be some mountain ranges there. Well, these mountains, of course. Maybe. What's that sound? It's 11 Celsius and a humidity of 32, so it's pretty dry, but it's not very warm. Oh, that's a lot of mages. There's fighting going on here. Oh, they're good, guys. I wanna... Oh, I pick up that one. A buck duck bill. Okay. Whoa. <laughs> Whoosh. I picked up a formula for fair cotton shoulders. Sure. Rolling green hills. Because I would be able to craft these if I had two emerald nuggets. 
Do I have any emerald nuggets? No. Ah. <sighs> But these mountains should have some caves or something. Hopefully. Right, so something that I wanted to talk about uh, is uh, a Kickstarter that I've been backing. And that's Ghost Control Inc. It's basically a game based on, wow, all these horses. I need to get riding. Okay, I need pet master. Okay, yeah. Um, ghost control. It's uh, think XCOM meets um, XCOM meets uh, Ghostbusters. You go hunt ghosts and you capture them and you try to keep your economy at a plus and it's an economic simulator it did pass on Kickstarter but you can still back it if you want through PayPal or similar I backed it at the level to get my face in the game and I will definitely be doing a let's play of that once I have it in my hand because um, the pixel art they're making is really cool um, so hopefully we'll get that sometime this fall. Aw, oh, that was a very boring cave. I was hoping I would get some materials. Come on, let me through. Peacock, hello. Yeah, so that's something that I want to be playing uh, once I get to that. It looks awesome. Ogre. Should we try? Yeah, let's try. Hi, Ogre. Ow. That was... Ouch. 300! You gotta be kidding me! That wasn't fair. Whoa! Talk about out of the ashes into the fire. Th th these are just too many goblins. I need to kill that one, he's really dangerous. Go down, goblin. Ooh, shoulders that I can use. Wow. They're actually pretty good. I have a power of 14 now, which means that my weapon rating is very bad and my armor rating is at 95%. I think that is related to my area. I'm not sure. Uh, I don't know at all. Something else I've been doing recently is a bit of coding. I enjoy co coding from now and then. Uh, it's usually just small things, but this time I've decided to get my roguelike going. Not gonna give away too much about the concept, but think uh, future but fantasy world. Right? Yeah, it's a bit of an odd one. But basically the story is that the world is uh, ended and, uh, well, more or less, uh, humanity has sent out colonization ships to go and colonize worlds and uh, they haven't heard anything from them. And since they haven't really figured out faster than light travel until now, they wouldn't know for sure um, if the colony ships actually made it to the planets. But you will start out when you are sent out on an expedition. It's just just gonna be you because you are the scout. You're the f uh, the first person to go through uh, the uh, warp gate, so to say, and uh, you will end up stranded in a world. And 
You'll have your items that you get with you when you start, but you won't be getting any new items. So you need to make sure you conserve a uh, any food that you bring and uh, also, of course, craft your own food and uh, build stuff and make shelters and... What's that? Oh, shrub. So it's something that I've been toying around with and I figured... I'll start doing some coding. I might post some progress, but uh, we'll see. It's not something that I expect to have um, a lot of production make really quickly. I just make it as a toy project. Plop. Yeah, it's just a toy project. We'll see what comes out of it. Insect guards, a lot of them. Holy crap! Okay, now they're too many. Wow. That's about a, gonna be an intense fight. If I can survive. Wow, I leveled up. That's actually kind of loud. It's a power 55 longsword. That's something I definitely want to keep. I can't use it yet because I need to be power 55. I don't know how that works. How do you get power up? I don't know. Hmm. That was an epic fight. Can't carry any more cobwebs. Oh, I have 50. So that's the upper limit. You can only carry 50 of an item. So we don't need to try and gather more of those. Oh, look at these mountains. Are there caves in the mountains? Oh, fighting on hills is a bit tricky. Hornet. Spike creature. Okay, so I'm gonna take him down here. The moment it says you cannot carry any more of those items and it's coin, I'm gonna be worried. Wow, if I had a hang glider and the skill. Oh yeah, we leveled up! So, sneak would be the next obvious choice, but I do want to kind of get to riding and climbing. Hmm. I'm gonna go for riding. So, the next level, I'll have five riding. Yeah. And of course, leveling is getting slower and slower and... Squirrel! If you get the reference, thumbs up to you. Oh, nice. Oh. Are you guys good guys? Humans. They just drop out copper. He can block me. How much copper do I have? Well, I have 12 silver. And I'm kind of not going in the right direction. And it's getting darker. And I think this is gonna be a pretty good place to end this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. I am going to put this one in as a fairly regular upload. As you might have noticed, I am not following schedule right now, and that's basically because I'm just playing what I feel like playing for the moment, and then upload as I feel, uh, see fit on scheduling. So, there is not going to be a definite schedule for things. That's a big creature over there. What is it? 
It's a uh, bark beetle. He's seen me? I don't think so. Right, so let's end this episode here. And uh, I will see you in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.